Well, between inflation, interest rates and the cost of living, everyone is feeling the pinch. But what can you do to improve your future money matters? Australia's most followed financial advisor on TikTok, Ben Nash, says that with smart saving and investing now, you can ultimately replace your salary down the track. Now, in his brand new book, Ben promises to help build your confidence and wealth without the confusing jargon. And the best of all, how saving an extra $117 per week, that's all can make you a millionaire. Let's find out more about that. Uh, we welcome author, financial advisor and founder of Pivot Wealth, Ben Nash. Hi, mate. Nice to see you. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Um, how long do we need to invest and how much before we can get to a point where uh, that can replace our salary? Well, it sort of depends on what your ideal salary is, but the rough rule of thumb when it comes to investing is that you should be able to draw a return of about an income of about 5% without eating into capital. So mm -hmm. what that means in human words is that if you've got a million dollars invested in a portfolio, it should give you an income of about $50,000 every year for the rest of your life. Without eating into that million dollars. That's right. right. Inflation yeah. adjusted and picking up over time. So in Australia, the average income is $92,000. So if you wanted to replace that level of income, you need about $1.84 million in investments to do that. So how much you need to save and invest depends on how soon you get hey, started. You so yeah. if you're 20, you need to save and invest $10 a day, around $10 a day to get to that point by age 60. If you're 30, it's $27 a day, 40, $81 a day and right. $5,297 a day. So you see at the earlier stages, $10 a day, tricky but achievable, you know, $297 a day, that's that's going to be pretty hard for a lot of people. So the sooner you get started, the easier it is. Well, those 20 year olds are spending 10 bucks a day on a cappuccino and a Red Bull, right? So yeah. it's there. Ultimately, ultimately yeah, ultimately. it's there. Uh, as for that $117 per week to become a millionaire, where does that come into it? What's that? Yeah, so that's about if you're 30, then saving and investing right. $117 a week would grow to a million dollars by by age 60. And I think people don't uh, don't always understand that how much your investments actually compound over time, but they want the quick returns and quick wins. And people start investing, they're expecting to shoot the lights out quickly. That mm. doesn't always happen. Then they get frustrated or bored and they give up and they don't see things through to actually get that momentum compounding, but yeah. you don't need to do a lot to get there. Yeah. yeah, okay. Your new book goes through, it's sort of this start to finish game plan. It's about getting that message early, right? That's right, yeah. The yeah. sooner you start, the easier it is. It doesn't matter where you want to get to. So uh, it's about doing simple things sooner, building better habits, saving saving a, a bit of money, then investing it consistently, and mm. that makes it easier to get the results mm. you want. 54% mm. of Australians have no investment outside of their home or... Um, or superannuation. Mm. So where does it begin if they want to grow their wealth? Well, I think thankfully these days, technology is making it easier and easier to invest. So if you don't have any investments at all, and obviously this is not financial advice and you should seek that out, but micro investing apps allow you to start investing with as little as one single cent. Some of those platforms, a lot of them, it's only $5 that you need. So anyone can open one of these accounts on their phone and be investing in literally five or 10 minutes. You get started and then you immediately start learning. Then you build your confidence around investing and it is a journey. You mean shares, so this is buying right. shares. Share right. type mm. investments, or ETFs or managed funds. Generally, these platforms allow you to choose an investment option, which is share investment focus. Then you start learning, then you start building a bit of momentum and you can then accelerate or increase how much you're investing over time mm. to build that momentum faster. Got to be some warnings with that strategy as well, right? That's, uh, of you course, know, you never want to invest money, money that you away. need yeah. to take yes. out in yes. the short term because when you invest into shares, they say that you should be able to leave it there for seven to 10 years or more. If we have a, like a big market downturn like what we saw in the global financial crisis in 2008. So you need to be careful at the front end, but realistically, if you're investing $5 or $10, yeah. it's like you should be able to survive without that money. And it goes a long way, not just to the financial results, but to the confidence that you build and the knowledge that you build that then mm. makes your future steps around investing okay. easier. Now, as the cost of living rises, it's easy to reach for that plastic uh, when things are tight, right? Um, how can our viewers escape that credit card cycle? So bad at the moment, so much bad debt around at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And it is tricky, the, the inflation crisis that we're seeing, the cost of living crisis. So people are turning more and more to credit cards and buy now, pay later. But when you're trying to get ahead with those things in place. It's like you're working with the leaky bucket and you're taking two steps forward and one yes. step back. So there's a couple of things that people can do. Firstly, if you're on top of your payments and got good credit, look at using a like a balance transfer or consolidation loan, or in some cases, even rolling it into your mortgage. You need to be very, very careful when you're mm. doing that, that you don't just do that and then keep spending and then end up racking up more debt that you're going to have to pay off over time. But cutting down those interest, the interest costs means that more of the money that you're directing 
adding to your debt is actually reducing the amount that you owe instead of just paying dead interest costs. Yeah. So then you want to have a plan where you can, you know how much money you can direct to reduce your debt down over time. You want, with that plan, you want to make sure that it still allows you to do all the things that you need to do, that you still have to be able to live, otherwise the plan's going to be unsustainable. Yeah. But what I'd say to people that are trying to uh, sort of get out of that point is like, you could lean into a little bit of short-term discomfort and really batten down the hatches for a short amount of time. That yeah. might help you get some good progress. Then you feel a lot better about it and, and you've got obviously then less debt to pay down, then you can get into a more consistent approach over time. Okay, all really good advice. This is it. Ben's new book is called Replace Your Salary by Investing, Save More and Invest Smart and Maximise Your Money. You can pre-order it now. Good on you, Ben. Thank you, mate. Thanks, good ben. to see you.